from top to bottom actually so um the mantle have put out their list or the lineup for the 2020 festival i'm not sure if you guys are a big fan of dick mantle i am i'm always obsessing over the videos that you see online especially from boiler room there's some legendary boiler room videos from dick mantle one of my favorites being the ben clock set um you know i think you're all familiar with who ben clock is and he's kind of you know he's kind of uh start you know being a Berkheim resident and his kind of history but it's great to see it in kind of you know full hd or in in his kind of full element when he's at deck mantle i think that was kind of the set that kind of again brought attention to him i'm a big fan of the motor city drum ensemble set actually i'm gonna get that up now at the moment let me quickly get this up too from deck mantle that was a really prevalent moment and throughout the whole time of me just being a fan of boiler room i've always been you know you're, you're familiar with seeing the setting you know the shelter that stage where they usually have boiler room uh streaming their kind of set from there and just in general it's just been a great a great place to kind of you know be engrossed in dance music and obviously get the opportunity to see loads of different people play at the same time this is the kind of quintessential set that i remember from uh i remember watching from uh mostly drums some uh, one of my favorite djs uh, from back in the day or still, still from now i still make a while no rewinds this time this is a legendary set from deck mantle i'm gonna quickly just forward it around a bit and you know you probably know the universal drum ensemble a real amazing house dj plays a mixture of vinyl and digital tracks usually using a rotary mixer just an expert mixer an expert song selector and it's a killer dj all around and i remember watching this for the first time thinking wow man this guy is really fucking good at dj you know and also just being a fan of the vibe um i think that's one thing you see about deck mantle when you're actually watching it via the stream is that it seems like a great it seems like a good fun night to be at right right so for the most part it's not somewhere that you'd want to be at like you'd want to go and hang out there let me pause this so i don't have too much noise playing in the background it seems like a fun place to be so i've always had the, uh, the kind of urge to go there myself but this year unfortunately we can't go i think the dates don't really fall in line and i think for the most part we're going to be spending most of our festival season in junction two then it might be a brief occasion where i might go out to innovisions uh night that they do when um sonar's on is it sonar is it sonar or is it which one is it in barcelona is it sonar I think it's Sonar, right? Innovision, is it? Innovision Barcelona. Let me quickly check this up. Because that's where I'm going to, I think. So I don't think that's why it doesn't fall at the right times, right? So let's go Innovision. Yeah, so Innovision Barcelona is during... I'm sure it's Sonar Festival, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's Sonar. But it's, it's up on here on um, Resident Advisor already. I think they're selling tickets for this already now. So on the 21st of June. And then Deck Mantle 2020, I'm pretty sure it's around the same time. Let's see the dates here. Da, 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 da. Dick Mantle announces lineup for the 2020 festival. And I think it's around the same sort. Yeah, 29th of July. And then Junction 2, I'm sure, is around the same. So it's, there's a lot of festivals at the same time. A lot of money is going to go towards giving people these fest um, giving these organizers um, the entry money for these festivals. It's just going to be a bit too tight. Yeah, looking at the list. So you've got. I've got here on my screen just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So Innovisions Barcelona is on the 21st of June 2020. And then Deck Mantle is on the 29th. And then you've got Junction 2 on the 5th. So there's a lot of things happening at the same time. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to kind of work it all in at the same time, innit? Right? So it is what it is. But anyway, Deck Mantle put out their lineup and it looks pretty solid, to be fair. Um, I think there's a lot of people on there that I'm sure a lot of my listeners will be a big fan of let me get up the list quickly here i can find it where is it there we go so they put the lineup out and to be honest it looks amazing right this is an article from resident advisor uh talking about festivals is the following dick mantle announces the lineup for 2020 festival the eighth edition of the well placed of the what sorry of the well loved the amsterdam event includes front 242 which will be amazing if you're a big fan of um ebm electronic body music you'll you'll love that i think that's going to be a good good show to see them play live i'm sure i'm sure it'll be a live show i don't know whether or not there's some members of front 20 of front 242 who play who just dj maybe that'll be the thing or maybe they'll use a whole live setup with modular stints and shit and all that malarkey that'll be pretty cool um so um so we've got front 242 fear parish lorraine james and venetian snares the articles the following dick mental return to amsterdam bows from july 29th until the august 2nd i remember seeing a vlog of a couple people that went to dick mantle and supposedly the game is that you um get accommodation in the city center and you like cycle out to the site where dick mantle is i'm sure it's, it's like a little park 
just outside of Amsterdam or something like that. It's not too far to cycle there. People do that all the time. Um, and I'm sure people go there every year. So most of the good accommodation that you'd want closest to the venue is probably sold out or booked out months in advance, probably ahead of time, because I'm sure they have the same dates rolling year after year, or most likely they already announced that the next year dates, you know, this year, because they know it's going to sell out. They know they're going to have a good reception. A good amount of people are going to buy tickets on the pre sale and all that stuff. So, um, now in its eighth year, the Dutch institution has booked an array of returning and emerging talents, along with some valued, uh, sorry, some voted legendary acts. Fear Parish will play a 10 hour DJ set. That's nuts. That should be fucking flipping fun. Um, they've got the likes of Philip Glass playing. They've got S, I don't even pronounce that name. Uh, you've got Floating Points. You've got Robert Hood, Object Blue, Karen, Giant Swan, MX97, The Bridge, Object, Ezra Miller. Oh, Ezra Miller, is that Ezra Miller from... No, it's not Ezra Miller from Vampire Weekend. Who's, who am I thinking about? Who's Ezra? Hmm. Um, Lauren Halo's playing. Other DJs include Harv- DJ Harvey's playing. That should be fun. I, I, I already told you about my experience seeing DJ Harvey play at Lovebox, you know, Ministry of Sound, um, Metropolis, uh, Berghain. The Berghain and the Parents was probably my favourite. Because, again, if you know anything about Berghain and Panorama Bar, you would assume you'd have probably more likely to have seen DJ Harvey play upstairs at Panorama Bar, but instead he played the main floor in the Bergheim and he absolutely tore it to pieces. But I shouldn't be surprised, right? If you're 20 plus years into DJing, you're going to be able to do just about anything you want. Right? You're going to be able to tear up, a, you know, any see, any scenario, any setting for the most part, you probably could do a good enough job to get people dancing. So I wouldn't, shouldn't be too surprised, but it was a magical set. To see all these like, you know, um leather clad club kids who are waiting for boom 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 stuff to see them dancing and raving and getting crazy to dj harvey on the main floor was great to see see him smiling behind a booth and really thankful for the good vibes on the dance floor was great to see as well just so awesome so that should be fun uh honey as well another big dj that i'm a big fan of um booked for deck mantles techno oriented ufo stage that should be cool to see honey play techno dj ez is great legendary london legendary uk dj who i'm sure most of you are aware of his absolutely insane mixing ability right his ability to kind of chop layer drop in the most you know obscure shit and also the stuff that you would kind of you know harken back to when you were younger just an absolutely stellar dj somebody that i would you know be happy to book for my wedding one day um an absolute uh you know bad man on the behind the decks obviously dj stingray uh you got sherelle playing who's had a really amazing year in it cheryl cheryl how you pronounce her name um from you know from the from the pull-up gate until now, she's had a really amazing year. It's kind of gone from success after success. I think I recently saw a tweet something about she quit her full-time job or part-time job to go full-time DJing, which is must be a dream come true for someone like that. You know what I mean? Grinding, doing your thing on the scene, and then eventually you get to a point where you're able to sustain yourself uh, by just playing the music that you love with, around your friends, all that stuff. That must just be so, so cool. I'm so jealous. So um, well done to her. That's awesome. Lorraine James, I mentioned before. Josie Rebel, of course. You know from, if you're in the UK, you know that she's one of our uh, better DJs out there in the scene right now. Uh, better Libra, Hype 11E, Up Sammy, who I'm very I'm very fond of. I think she's Dutch. I think she's a resident at this school. But I've heard a few of her mixes and she's really good. Quite housey um there is a there, she can get deep and a bit dark when she wants to but again a very underrated dj on the scene right now and i think someone who might have a big 2020 coming up so keep your eye up eye up for up sammy and same with nazira but i think nazira had a big 2011 as well 2019 sorry so i think she's probably going to follow the same sort of route that cheryl would follow just one needs one breakout moment, which is funny with cheryl thing right because i'm sure at that moment it wasn't really, it was quite disrespectful what happened with the whole pull-up thing. You don't know the guy, he's pulling up your tune. You know, there's that whole power dynamic, men, women, blah, blah, blah. You know, don't get into that nonsense because it's not, not, not my bag. And I think it was overblown to some extent. But I do think the idea of something you don't know pulling up your track is a bit of a piss take. Don't get me wrong. But it's funny how something so negative has essentially led to her, you know, her kind of popping and blowing up overnight. And again, I'm sure she would have blown up anyway because I'm sure her boiler room set got mad views regardless of the pull up thing. But I'm sure that didn't didn't um that didn't hurt. Jamie's having a bit of controversy because then she did kind of regain form 
and sort of like regained her composure and still, you know, dappy to dance um, after that incident occurred. So Nazira probably needs one of those situations to occur. You don't, you're not kind of wishing some stranger's going to go out of her decks and pull up the record, but something like those lines will probably help her get out to the other to the other side. And then you got a back to back sets with Jess and Lojack, Lena Wilkins and Vladimir Izikov, which I'm sure. So Lena Wilkins and Vladimir, whatever his name is, they're residents from Club Divisionaire. That should be fun. Uh, Zakiria, Nubai, I don't know who that is. And Ski Mask and Steny. Ski Mask, I saw at London. I saw at Mix, actually. That was a good night. Um, so, again, Front 22, a Japanese interpreter brand, Goat, Venetian Snares, and da, 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 da. So, really good lineup, man, of people there. I think there's tickets available now, or did the pre sale sell out already? I'm not too sure. I think there was pre No, there's pre sale out at the moment, because I'm sure someone from the London Techno Group that I'm a, I'm a part of on WhatsApp meshes that they had pre-sale tickets so if you're able to find someone that's able that's got a pre-sale code and they can get you in the door then please do Deck Mantle looks like fun looks like a festival i'd love to go to again i'm not too sure about dates because i've got so much stuff i'm going to at the moment junction innovisions and barcelona i maybe should go Deck Mantle to kind of mix things up again but i would like to go to amsterdam uh, outside the festival scene just to kind of experience the city it's been a place that i've been kind of longing to go to for a one, long long time and i don't really think the first time should be a festival occasion but again as one of the you know they're easily one of the most you know storied and legendary and really successful and diverse and just fun festivals out there from the looks of it i, I said i checked out some vlogs online on youtube and it looks like a whole lot of fun so i'm sure those of you who are aware of that might know this already but if you're not definitely get on it and try and get a ticket if you're that way inclined from the 29th of july to the 2nd of august again it's probably a lot more it's going to work out a lot cheaper than stuff that you attend in london you get you get to go on a trip to amsterdam with your friends smoke something eat something nice have a little dance and come back home no biggie no biggie